Hi everybody, Vegas Fruity Cat here, and I'm going to make um, something that we had this wonderful wild rice dish at our v uh, Thanksgiving uh, share, and um, Maintaining Michelle had asked me uh, for the recipe, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through how I made it really quick, because it's really awesome, and you might want to have a nice rice side dish for your next holiday event. All right, so I'm going to start with uh, six cups of this veggie stock, and I'm going to bring it over high heat into my pan. Once it boils, I'm going to add one and one-thirds cup of wild rice, and I am using this blend Lundberg. Um, it's got a wild blend, and I bought this at Trader Joe's, I think. All right, so once that's boiling, I'm going to pour in this wild rice. It's on high heat, so I'm going to bring it down to a simmer. And I'm going to, uh, not a simmer, but, you know, a simmer to medium. And then I'm going to cook it uncovered for about 40 minutes. Okay, oh, and also you want to stir it um, every now and then. Okay, so while that's cooking, um, you can get all your spices together for the next part. Now, we have two rice, um, two rice elements. We're going to have the wild rice that's cooking, and then we're going to add um, some more. We're going to do, um, cook up some long grain enriched rice and it's white and add it too. So we have three quarter teaspoons of ground cardamom and this is not something that you want to skip on for this dish. You really do need to have some cardamom. It adds so much flavor. This is such an aromatic dish. It's incredible. And you have a teaspoon of allspice. This is another one that you really should have. And then um, two bay leaves, two teaspoons of freshly grated orange zest, um, and then they, um, you can use, what I use, you can use like a half, or like one cup of dried cranberries and one cup of golden raisins. But what I'm using is I'm using a golden berry blend and it also has um, dried blueberries in it and cherries. So there's quite a bit of neat stuff in here and it really adds a lot of flavor to this dish. And um, instead of butter, instead of sauteing in butter, because I have to saute my onions, I'm going to use these soy-free Earth Balance uh, buttery sticks, and they are vegan. Um, and I have three onions that I've uh, chopped up in here in this little processor. I don't have all yellow. They should be three yellow onions, but I am using a purple one in there too, so hopefully that'll be okay. And I'm going to end up using... Um, I'm using vegetable stock because I don't have any broth, so you're going to need three cups of vegetable broth, but what I did is I used one and a half cups of stock and one and a half cups of water. I don't want to use all stock, although I like the richness, I'm afraid it may cause the rice to stick, so I cut it with some water. All right, so in my um, four tablespoons of buttery sticks here, I'm going to pour in my... All my onions, and I know it seems like a lot, but it's really important. All right, um, and then I also didn't mention that we're going to be adding a half cup of pine nuts and a half cup of parsley in at the very end. Just chock full of aromatics. Okay, and these are going to cook for about 12 minutes over medium heat. All right, after 12 minutes, you're going to add your uh, cardamom and you're going to add your allspice and just uh, stir it around and cook it until it becomes aromatic for about 20 seconds. Then add in your broth, your broth water mix. All right, next I'm going to add in my orange zest. I'm going to add in my bay leaves. And which you're going to remove later, and I'm going to add in all my beautiful raisin mix and dried fruit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this up, and I'm going to bring it to a boil. Okay, and while you're waiting for this to boil, you could add in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper if you'd like, or just leave them out. Um, although I think the pepper adds to the nice aromatic flavors. And over here, my wild rice is all done. So that's just going to sit here. All right, so this is boiling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my rice up in here on top. I'm going to stir it in, and then I'm going to lower it down to simmer uh, or low heat, and then I'm going to cover it. And this is going to cook for about 20 minutes. 
and then uh, the rice should absorb all the flavors. Now it is kind of a mucky looking color, um, and that comes from the purple onion that I use, so that's something to remember, you know, instead of, uh, if you don't want that muckiness, which should not be a big deal once we mix the, ri mix the rice up, um, it's not gonna really be a big deal. But if you don't want that, then just use three yellow onions. Don't use a purple one, like I did. All right, this is all done cooking. I just uncovered it. And again, it's not gonna be kind of pinky like this if you if you didn't use a purple onion. All right, so I've added the two rices, I guess, the two rice together. And I'm gonna stir it up in this bowl. And I've got my half cup of chopped parsley, flat leaf Italian parsley. And I'm using, after all, I can't find my pine nuts. I think maybe somebody snacked on them. So I've got a half cup of um, dry uh, toasted pecan pieces. And so I'm going to put those in instead. Uh, but if you'd like to use uh, roasted pine nuts, it would even, um, it would add so much to the dish. Although I think this is probably going to be really awesome. So after I get this in here, I'm just going to... Mix it around so it'll be very aromatic. And there you have it. This is just like the quintessential fall rice dish. The smells, the aromas coming off of this, is they're just fantastic. It's phen phenomenal. Um, very, very, very tasty. Uh, once you taste this, you're never going to forget it. So anyway, there it is. Okay, so there it is, and uh, that recipe is specifically for maintaining Michelle. Um, and thanks so much for watching, Michelle, and I hope you like this recipe. I hope you enjoy it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everybody. Bye.